Can you tell me your earliest memories with the horses? Oh man, uh, yeah. It wasn't a, wasn't a real good experience. I was raised around horses. My mother was a, a champion barrel racer and uh, we always had quarter horses around. Uh, from the time I could walk um, were my earliest memories of, of getting on horses. But uh, the, the one I remember most, is I had a, uh, we were up uh, rounding up wild horses in the Owyhee Mountains in uh, outside of uh, Idaho, uh, in the back country of Idaho. And, I was on one of my mom's uh, racing uh, quarter horses and I uh, was riding down this road, dirt road with my, my big brother and uh, we turned around and the horse thought it was in a horse race, uh, like a match race and bolted with me, running off with me and I had no control and we had a big, we had a big campground set up like a wagon train thing with all the campers and everything and she was, she was uh, going really fast and got into camp and why I bailed off I don't know but I bailed off and, and hit a mirror on my dad's truck and then under the hood and then and I woke up about 15 hours later and my nose was all over, it broke my nose. I was, uh, I think I was six or seven years old and um, when I woke up, I'm like, what the hell? So I, I was actually scared of horses uh, for, for a long time. I'd still ride, but I didn't trust them. And, uh, you know, I I wasn't in love with them, but I, but I liked it. And then, uh, when I galloped my first racehorse when I was 11 years old and I felt, felt the power and and uh, I felt like I was in control and one one with the horse just got along very, very well and and I felt in love with it and I knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to be a jockey. How did you go about taking on that career? Uh, my dad, my dad's a uh, horse trainer up until about 15 years ago he retired and then my older brother Scott, uh, he was riding. He's uh, a couple years older than I am and he started riding three years before before I did, and uh, he was having a lot of success, and he was kind of my idol, and, and he taught me everything that I knew, and grooming horses from the time I was eight years old, and my dad's farm, uh, the old Dubois Park in Boise, Idaho, uh, I learned from the ground up uh, from the time I was a little kid, and, and it just became second nature to me. So many people talk about all the great horsemen uh, from back in the 70s, the 80s, what made these guys so special? Well, they could decipher what was going on in a horse's mind, and they, they were great uh, uh, horsemen as far as when, seeing when a horse had a, a problem physically uh, and, and detecting that uh, quicker than most people would detect and, and get the work on them right away and uh, just get them fixed up and, and healthy again and, and not uh, try and pound on a horse that may have an issue somewhere. And, and those those were the guys, man. They they just knew every one of their horses and they treated them as individuals and still as, uh, as a group. Uh, it's not like teaching a classroom of kids where they're all getting the same lesson. Uh, some kids are going to learn quicker than others. Other ones are going to be geniuses early and, and uh, you know, uh, get better. Uh, some of them it takes it takes time for them to develop, uh, just like just like humans. I guess my, my favorite moment would have to be uh, winning the Kentucky Derby. My first uh, Derby in 1988, I won on winning colors with uh, out of body experience, and it made me hungry to have won another one. I was fortunate enough to win uh, my second one in 1995, and that was an even better feeling than the first one because I knew what was coming, uh, that it was going to be exciting, and. And my third one in 1997 on Silver Charm, um, nothing, nothing's ever going to top that victory. Well, what's the feeling like when your big horse win the Derby? Like, what's that? What's that vibe? Like? Uh, and it, it's unexplainable. Uh, just the excitement. I wish, I wish we could, that I could feel that moment, turn it on and off whenever I want. The unfortunate thing is, uh, in this business, you win a big race like that, and you got to move on to your next race. But. Uh, it's it's the most beautiful feeling.